Wargaming are releasing a huge event that you can take part of right now in World of Tanks console and there is a ton of content coming. Uh, it appears as we've got some information on both this event along with Father's Day that you can take advantage of this weekend and of course uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Uh, and then we can get into the key thing about this uh, kind of event. We'll go on to the website with the, which they've got available. Uh, and of course, it might be worth favoriting the website so you can do it every day as there are some rewards that you can take. Uh, and they are kind of, I guess, limited and exclusive events uh, rewards that you can get from this. And this is an event that starts or has started on Tuesday this week. So we have, of course, this War Heroes Legends event. And the Legends event is essentially what Wargaming say is uh, where you can collect commander cards, unlock theme rewards and choose your tank. So you can get a tank as well uh, and we can have a look at the information that we've got as well as the website and what sort of things you have to do along with that uh, Father's Day kind of special event and some new military commanders as well that we have in the game. So first things first, the War Heroes Legend event is your definitive side quests is what Wargaming have said uh, and that is essentially you'll progress through four themed events based on real life occasions including D-Day, Tank Fest, 4th of July and Bastille Day so in doing so you'll collect battle tokens that you can use to unlock commander trading cards through the event website these cards will eventually grant you their associated in-game commander so this is kind of interesting uh, with each commander's backstory once you fully unlock them so you also earn theme rewards in game as you complete each of the four events um, so ready to unwrap your first commander pack and jump into the action so i guess we can go to the uh, kind of actual uh, event here we and essentially you get met with this page which is uh once again it's annoying that we have to go to a website i say it every time um but unfortunately that is the way wargaming do these events so first off the bat essentially you start your journey and then it will ask you to log in so i'll log in real quick and then i'll jump back to the page so we've logged in straight away it's really easy simple quick process all you have to do is just pick whatever console you're on and sign into your account uh don't worry it's all wargaming official there's nothing like dodgy or anything like that it's literally super super easy uh, and it will just ask you for permission to uh check your friends list and it's just so that they can have a look um at your account in detail on xbox so they can gather what account you actually have but first things first is welcome titan eclipse obviously that's me um a special gift awaits uh, you upon logging into our website your first battle token use it to unwrap a pack of cards to complete a commander card you must gather all three parts of it after which you will instantly receive this commander in game so this is kind of good you're going to be able to get some commanders in game super super good hopefully they give you a bonus to the xp earn or commander xp earn that you get you can get um, and if you manage to conquer them all, a grand prize awaits. One of four ultimate tanks handpicked by you. And remember, data from the game sinks daily at 10 o'clock. So essentially, uh, if you don't get your rewards instantly, it's because it has to wait for you to actually complete the in-game, uh, like the challenges or whatever it might be. And then the following day to whenever you complete it at 10 o'clock or on the day, if you complete it before 10 o'clock, um, then yeah, you should be able to get it. So let's actually go to the event here and we'll click on it. We'll mute the audio because I'm getting spammed with it. Um, and then welcome Titan Eclipse, ready to open another pack of cards. So we've got four battle tokens here. Uh, you can get them from just playing in the game and we'll have a look at how you can get the tokens. But I think it's interesting to see what you can get from them. So these are the uh, collections that I guess that you can get. So you've got uh, George S. Patton, we've got Bernard Law Montgomery, Erwin Rommel, we've got George Hughes, Percy Hobart, uh, and this is uh, kind of what we have available right now. So uh, you also then get themed rewards to so collect all the commander key cards from this uh, this stage to claim your D-Day rewards. Um, and that will give you 10 times 2 vehicle XP boosters, which is nice, um, as well as the fact uh, that if you get 
uh, this as well, you give, uh, well, you get some inscriptions too, so looks pretty decent. I mean, it's mainly uh, cosmetics at the moment, um, but I'm assuming that the big rewards, if you complete them all, will be a tank. So um, it appears like you're going to have the choice of the King Dragon, you're going to have the WZ, or the Yatsi, effectively, the unskinned version. You've got the, uh, oh, what's it called? Why am I? It's the German tier 8 tank destroyer. It's the Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105, that's it. Uh, and then it looks like the T 72 by the looks of things on the left, uh, or some variant on Cold War for a premium vehicle. So, uh, of course, you have to complete all of the stages to be able to do it, um, but it seems like you probably would be able to do it fairly easily. So, let's unwrap our D Day pack by the looks of things, and we can get straight into it. So, let's open it up, see what we get. So I'm assuming that there's different rarities. Of course, looks like we got a premium commander there. We got Bernard Law Montgomery, so it's a two star. Uh, of course, there's three different types of commanders that you can get in the game, uh, which are essentially you've got your standard commander, you have your premium commander, and then you have your hero commander. And they all get different XP boosts, essentially. That's the main reason for them, as well as they usually get some form of uh, kind of 3D or something dynamic about them that is slightly different. So looks pretty good. Of course, we've got Bernard Law Montgomery, got George Hughes. Um, so we can have a look back at the collection. They've all, all been updated here. So you can see we've got Bernard, we've got George and Hobart. And essentially, we've got them all. So in order to actually get the tokens, which is what you use to open these packs, uh, you can effectively... Um, playing game um i guess we can have a look at that real quick uh, so essentially all you have to do is earn at least 100 xp in six battles and that will give you one battle token the more battles you play the more you're going to get um, and it's infinitely repeatable so it's essentially just a continuation of just playing six battles every six battles you'll get a token every token you can open the next one so say if you play 10 games in one day then you're going to be able to or uh, 60 games in one game in one day you're going to be able to actually get 10 battle tokens the following day at 10 o'clock so they'll arrive on your kind of or on the website and then you can open 10 packs. So might as well use them up uh, and try and see if we can complete the collection having three. So we got once again all of the ones that we already had. So not so good. Uh, so let's hopefully it, it won't let me open another one. But apparently okay then. Never mind. Maybe you have to actually click it again. Fingers crossed we can get someone else. So we did get Rommel which means we've completed another one. So it's getting closer and closer to actually being able to complete it. So just need uh, two more. So we just need the pattern, which is the hero. And I'm assuming it will take quite a while to, uh, to get them. They must be fairly rare. They're not going to be uh, your kind of standard ones. And there we go. We don't manage to get the uh, hero commander, which gives, of course, the most XP bonus out of a lot of them. Uh, but we still get the majority of the rest of them. And it's just uh, we'll have to play and actually get this uh, George pattern um, later on. But of course, if you did, if we did manage to get him, all you have to do is go on here and then you can claim. Now, for example, if you want to send some of the duplicates that you get within the game or within this uh, kind of website, you can actually do it. And all you have to do is hover over it. It would say times one or times two or times three. And essentially you can send it to a friend. Uh, and of course, uh, that's going to be beneficial for any of your friends. If you just want to be able to complete each other's collections and stuff, if you get, if you focus on one collection and someone else focuses on another one, you're going to be able to send them to each other uh, and that way you know you might get duplicates but at least you'll be completing uh, your friends log and they'll be completing yours and you don't even have to open up the pack so really nice to see of course we could uh, send it to a friend um, and essentially it will just take you to a page where you can input what your friends details are etc and then they should be able to get it so pretty decent I think it's looking interesting and of course we can get free tanks at the end of it and I don't think it's going to be too difficult this website seems a lot better than the previous one that we did have uh, so yeah I mean it looks pretty good I'm looking forward to it and of course let me know what you think about this of course it is annoying having to go to a website to be able to get it 
Um, but yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. But anyway, back to the actual event. What other things do we have from this? So uh, the commander's cards have been introduced as well. So once you receive a battle token, blah, blah, blah. Like you say, you can get the card. Uh, and then when you complete all of them uh, and get the three parts by opening the packs, you'll be able to actually get it in game. It should just arrive. And then additionally, you can get six, uh, duplicate cards by opening packs and completing the commander card more than once. Uh, exclusively, you got parts of the same commander six times. With the duplicate, you can send it as a gift. Uh, you can find any player through the gamer tag and selecting the platform they're on. So essentially, you just find your mates, uh, the gamer tag, and then if they're playing on Xbox, you just have to say that it's on Xbox. If they're playing on PS4 or PS5 or PlayStation, whatever console they're playing on, you just have to let them know. And then, uh, yeah, you can destroy it as well if you want to, uh, which will lose three parts of that card, but will receive one battle token as well. So you'll get one refunded uh, if you do destroy the duplicate. But of course, you can see here, uh, each commander card has its own drop rate, which is why we didn't manage to get George Patton straight away. And essentially, it's a 12% drop rate to actually get the hero commander, uh, a 22% for the premiums, and then the standard are also 22%. So pretty difficult to get the pattern, and hopefully we'll be seeing it at some point in the future. But of course that will complete our collection and then we'll be able to finish it off so it looks cool i think it's a good idea and of course there are tons more commanders as well including you know uh pool so lafayette g pool we've got kolobanov we've got stark yoshio um and richardson we've got things like war daddy which is of course from um uh the fury film uh, i believe off the top of my head uh, and then we've got a load of others uh, that you can go through uh, and of course uh, dubois we've got longley uh, leclerc yeah, there's just tons of uh, there's just tons of them and of course they're themed to each of them uh, each of the different events uh, during the times so of d day tank fest 4th of july and bastille day etc so nice to see i'm very interested uh, to see what you guys think do, is this actually decent do you find it annoying that it has to be on a separate website would it have been good to get it in the game um yeah let me know in the comment section down below but of course theme rewards so you can get all of these boosters as well and then of course there's in-game rewards for the war ha heroes legends main challenge uh the way you can get some uh, effectively boosters as well like we say and then the final reward like we said is the Canonian Jagdpanzer the T72 Ural it is so it was a T72 uh, the WZ121 GFT which is really good and the King Dragon Type 59 uh, and I guess we can do a review of all of these but it won't be for a little bit uh, and nearer the, to the time where you're actually able to pick them uh, and so yeah if you're interested in some of these we've already done some reviews like on the WZ121 GFT and the Kanonen Panzer uh, and I think we did one on the King Dragon but it was a long time ago so updating these would be good uh, and hopefully that'll be interesting for you guys but yeah that's the War Heroes Legends all you have to do is go on to the World of Tanks console website Click on the link that's on their news article for the Legends event and effectively then from there you can just save the page uh, so you can go on every day and unlock your cards or even if you don't log on to the website every day it will just save up your cards and you can go through and open a ton of them. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was an interesting uh, part of this video, but let's move on to the Father's Day celebrations. And of course, that is the current event that you've got as well on top. So this is something Wargaming do every time. And effectively, all you have is just a ton of like challenges in the game where you can get XP and you'll be given a variety of different emblems. They're usually cosmetics and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's a bonus. It's nice to have a few premium consumables as well. Um, and uh, you'll earn times three vehicle XP during Father's Day events. So this is between the 16th of June and the 20th of June. You will get uh, times three XP. So that's nice. Um, and of course, gonna get grind through all of your tanks uh, on the daily double or daily triple, I guess now. Um, so yeah, I would recommend uh, just playing as many different tanks as possible to get as much of that bonus as possible. But other than that, there is a Father's Day bundle where you can get a load of these inscriptions um, which come alongside. You don't actually get them from this. 
Um, but yeah, they're there for anyone that wants them at 40% off. I wouldn't recommend spending gold on on like emblems unless you're really interested in them. But you know, that's up to you to decide. But next thing that we have is of course the new military commanders in game and the new military commanders key cards so of course being released in the game right now we have them until the 25th of july and they'll be available in the store which is essentially you know you can just go in and pay for them um but the key thing about these commanders key cards is that like we had from like the mythical key cards and some of the other ones that we've had in the past if you've been around for a while but if you're new uh, you have this commander key card which essentially only gives you commanders there is a chance for getting a premium tank but it is so low that you're never ever going to want to open these if you're trying to get a vehicle uh, because the price per the percentage that you get is so low like for example uh, to get the same drop rate as any other key card in the game you would have to open 10 of these key cards if you rolled on average you would need 10 of these key cards uh, as opposed to just one of the, any of the other key cards because there's a 10% chance on the standard key cards that we have including confidential top secret etc um, and there's only a 1% on this so it's very rare that you're going to be able to get that there is a possibility to get gold in these uh, but I believe it's uh, it's not necessarily guaranteed but you're most likely to just get the commanders but there are a ton of commanders in this uh, which are essentially all of these ones that we've been talking about uh, as part of the War Heroes event and essentially you can get these in game it's nice to see that them actually bringing in historically accurate sort of uh, people rather than just these weird uh, kind of completely off the uh, off the kind of mark rewards which are essentially just not really necessarily <laughs> involved with what uh, World of Tanks is all about but it's nice to see these in the game it will, it will be something extra and of course you can get them in game and I'm sure you'll be able to purchase these uh, singularly at some point in the future so just keep an eye out for that if you're interested um, but that is literally what we have for the War Heroes Legends event hopefully uh, it, it's something that you enjoy and I'm sure uh, I'll be able to try and pick up as many of the rewards and then of course we'll do those reviews for those free premium tanks that are part of this and yeah let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.